Bro, don't try it. I'm not angry. Hey, man. Dude, Jesus Christ! Sorry. Teacher, help me up back there. Dude, whatever. Just don't fucking run up on me like that, all right? You good? Yeah, like... Yo, the hell you doing? This guy's acting crazy. Bro, just shut up. Nazir, yeah, let's man. go! You good? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, just let me know, okay? Who the hell was that? You don't remember him? Uh, that's my friend. <laughs> Yo, Sam! Yo! It's really eccentric protagonist named Drake is very brazen and very rude to his friend. Um, sort of bullyish, which makes him a little bit unlikable as a character. And he's selling joints on school property. This whole piece has a lot of caricatures in it. You have the overbearing teacher, you have the student archetypes, the nerd, the bully, the jock, they're all present. And you have Nasir, who's clearly trying to be cool, but is hanging with the wrong crowd. And they're peer pressuring him into all sorts of activities he doesn't seem like he really wants to be a part of. Unexpected moment. Obviously, the zombie outside the door is very unexpected. Um, they have no phones. They're stuck in this bathroom. Now they don't know what they're going to do. Suddenly, you have Drake, who's not as brave as he once was when it really counts. He kind of crumbles, that whole facade. Um, but the interesting twist is to find that it was all a prank and, a, and it, it's a play sort of on this whole social media prank. But it also has a really cool ending um, that kind of leaves you surprised. So, you know, this had a lot of twists and turns in it that kept me guessing. I love the writing in this one. I was totally taken in with the story. The performers really captured the essence of their roles. The bully, the jock, the pushover and the fierce teacher were all so great. Wow. Fabulous tension in this one and a big surprise. Perfect location, sound effects, makeup, and wardrobe. Very professional job. There is something just so satisfying about the school bully getting his comeuppance. You know what I mean? There's just, we just cheer for the underdog, and that's what we want to do. And that's what this film makes you do. It's really well written, great story, very, very well thought out. I thought the cinematography was good. I liked how they utilized the school and the area. You know, there's this lead character that you don't really get to feel for, right? There's no save the cat moment here. He's lewd, he's crude, he's not really, he wants everybody out of his way. You have this really long one shot of him interacting with people in the hallway and um, he's even acting like an ass to his best friend. Um, yet he's having his best friend help him um, essentially facilitate selling drugs to someone, selling joints to someone in the hallway. And in doing so, he loses his phone in the process rather than getting caught for selling marijuana at the school grounds. The friend who comes in and warns him of being like, why are you with these guys? We have been friends for always. I don't like how you are when you're with them. And he kind of gets kicked out of this bathroom. And when they decide to exit after all of them smoking their own joints, they're sort of met with this um, gruesome violence and this zombie is attacking them. Uh, so to speak. So it kind of shows if you're doing drugs, um, you could die from a zombie apocalypse sort of storyline being told here. Dissecting a lot of the anatomy that comes with delinquent nature, uh, a lot of issues that kind of sprout when it comes to the issue of bullying. Um, and I feel like we saw that the most with our main bully and what I like to say, Nazir, our uh, aspiring delinquent. Uh, with our main bully, you kind of, he's bleeding this aura of insecurity. Um, I think the actor does a phenomenal job of portraying uh, just how fast he shifts to anger uh whenever he feels that his image is being threatened our aspiring delinquent it was also very interesting watching him kind of towing the line where he's at a crossroads between two friends that main bully and his other friend uh 
where he has two paths he can go down. Um, and you see him fight both sides where uh, he tries to stand up for his friend uh, every time the main bully messes with him. But at the same time, when that same friend tries to get him out of this situation, he pushes the friend away, which leads to his final sin. Uh, interesting uh, kind of horror comedy. Um, I really like the, the fact that everything started as a normal uh, classical teenage films, you know, high schools and problems and, and, and friendships and the, the one of the main character that get, becomes a uh, friend with uh, the one of the school's bully and, and so his other friend is just gets angry over that. And then boom, at some point there are zombies. Everyone turns into zombies. It, 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 supposed to, it, it was supposed to be a prank first, but it was a real zombie at break in the end. I, I really enjoyed that. Honestly, I think that was a shocking uh, twist. And uh, overall, there was a great acting. The actors were well, pretty, pretty good. Um, the directing really kept, keeps you there. You know, it's very. Um, I can see the, the direction is very moving. This film could be used as a PSA for not getting high, because these boys are clearly smoking laced joints. That and the fact that it was a prank made it even funnier. Because it makes it almost seem like these kids gave them the laced joints or something. It was really, really amusing. It wasn't expected at all that this is how it was going to work. Um, it was a very fun film to watch because you just thought it was going to be a dopey film about kids getting high. Like, there's so many out there. And only for it to have a zombie twist was very unexpected, which made it more of a comedy than... A typical dopey film. It's um, one of those things that it worked really well. Great actors. It was one of those things where it was a humorous storyline. And at first you did. You thought it was going to be predictable. And it really wasn't. Which made it so much better and so worth watching. <laughs>